So you know who will stand up against this is Rand Paul. Rand Paul standing up against the Restrict Act. Hey, Ron Paul Zero got a little bit of taste of Coke, right? But <laughs> this is uh, the Restrict Act, which takes away any so sense of constitutional protections of your freedom, liberty, privacy, and it turns us into a um, a third world dictatorship where the government spies on you twenty four seven. This and is doesn't worse have than to China. tell you about it. This is worse than China. This is worse than China. I'm telling you, it's worse than China. It's unbelievable. So Rand Paul is going to uh, object to the uh, Restrict Act. Let's listen. The Republican strategy to ban TikTok comes simultaneously with GOP complaints of domestic social media companies canceling and censoring conservatives. Without a hint of irony, many of these same conservatives now rail against censorship. <laughs> while advocating for censorship against social media apps they worry are influenced by the Chinese. Before banning TikTok, these... I mean, that's already almost a comedy bit. He He's just... All he is explaining the situation, and it lays itself out comedically. Just if you lay it out logically, it's already funny. Censors might want to discover that China already bans TikTok. Hmm... Do we really want to emulate Chinese speech bans? Aren't we the ones that say it's wrong for China to ban speech, so we're going to be just like China and ban speech we're afraid of? The vice president of Freedom Works, John Tamney, perhaps described this situation best. Nauseating harassment of TikTok presumes Americans will be saved from Chinese authoritarianism if U.S. politicians act like Chinese authoritarians. We're going to be saved from speech if we ban it in our country. My goodness, could we think of anything more antithetical to the freedom of speech? Well, go to the app. They say, oh, the app's full of propaganda, and your young people will be dancing into communism. Well, go to the app and search for Falun Gong, the anti-communist religious sect that is persecuted in China. Go to TikTok and search for videos advocating ta Taiwan's independence. Criticism of Chinese President Xi Jinping. Videos are all over TikTok that are critical of official Chinese positions. That's why TikTok is banned in China. Do we want to follow <laughs> China's lead in banning speech? We should not let fear of communism to cause us to ignore our First Amendment protections of speech. This legislation violates not only the First Amendment of those who own TikTok, many of whom are actually Americans, not Chinese, but it also violates the First Amendment rights of the millions of young Americans who use this social media app. I asked the American people, do you want Joe Biden to be your censor? Do you want to give unlimited power to any president, regardless of, of party, to decide who is our adversary and which uh, countries, and then which countries? There's not even a list of what percentage. What if, what if somebody, what if the Chinese own 1% of a company or 10% of a company? One of the bills before us would allow the Department of Commerce to decide. There's five countries they list that are adversaries. These are big countries that have a lot of interaction with our countries, with our country already. Decide which country in addition to the five. The Department of Commerce can designate a country as an adversary, but then they can designate a company. But there's no specific, do the, do the new people that are designated to be an adversary have to own 100% of the company, 50% of the company, 1% of the company? This is a crazy gift of power to one person. And I don't care which party they're in, it's a huge mistake. Rand Paul getting it 100% correct, and all he's doing is just telling you the situation as it is, and it turns out it's a logical argument that's waterproof, and it's funny. That's how that's how good of an argument it is. It's funny all by itself. You don't even have to try to make it funny. Uh, it Americans don't care. Barack Obama repealed habeas corpus, <clears throat> meaning that they can put you in jail without a trial forever. That's called inde indefinite detention. And all they have to do is the government has to say, hey, man, you're a terrorist. And you can be... You know, like at DAPL, when they were protesting the pipelines, they they called those protesters ecological, environmental terrorists. Yeah. So now they can throw you in jail without a trial forever. 
if that was if those truckers in Canada were Americans, they would have called them terrorists. They're yeah, right. economic terrorists because they're shutting down our economy. Right. They're economic terrorists, so they would throw them in jail without a trial forever. Wait, but we blew up Nord Stream. That wasn't terror. That's uh, not. Oh, okay. No, that's good old American Christian stuff. <laughs> uh, so, and Barack Obama did that, and this is the Uniparty. This is the Democrats and the Republicans all want to do this. Okay. Uh, wow. <laughs> this is probably the worst news of all the many bad news is here. And this is, the, the, but but people are gonna, you know, if you if you bring this up to your people who vote for Joe Biden and Hillary Clinton, they'll think that there's something wrong with you. Like yeah, yeah, we, they just gotta try to protect us from our our enemies. What's wrong with you guys? Well, you don't like censorship? What do you all like? Elon Musk. You know, all the supposed, like, wokey stuff, those kids are on TikTok, so they're making a big mistake, I think. You we'll know, see. Trying to push this through, because uh, it's going to be like, uh, uh, this is going to be, I hope that there's enough people that, this who gets is, to vote on this? This is not the country I grew up in, I'll tell you that. This is not the country I grew up in, and uh, the authoritarian uh, dictatorship, crazy censorship, uh, spying on your own citizen stuff is it, it doesn't seem it's going to stop well you know it's funny i it, it all sounds like the crazy like born again christian miniature yes. bible comic prophecies yeah but the thing is those always suppose that it was actually the un that's behind it all and they're going to stop america right. and they didn't take into account the calls coming from inside the house yeah. it's america it's doing america this. yeah Go to jimmydoor.com to see my new stand-up special, COVID Lies Are Funny. For only $10, you get to become a premium member, too. And come see us do our live shows. We're going to be doing stand-up comedy in Milwaukee, Nashville, Honolulu, Los Angeles, Northampton, Massachusetts, Syracuse, New York, Coho's, New York, Hartford, Connecticut, Baltimore, Maryland, and more. Go to jimmydoor.com for a link for all those tickets.